Hello there guys, uh, here I am today at the Teardrops Complex in Milton Keynes. Uh, I'm fishing on Teardrops 2, uh, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, number 3 is a nature reserve, you can't fish there. Uh, the water is chocolate brown, uh, it's quite dark in this corner even though there's some bright sunshine, lots of overhanging trees, so I'm going to have a go for some perch. Okay. Swans have just moved off. Just eight or nine maggots each time. All around just under the tree where I'm fishing. Hopefully there's no crayfish in here giving me false bites. Hello. Something pecking at it. Almost like it's walking away. Probably a crayfish now, I've mentioned the bloody things. And the swans are back. I'll just give you a quick view of where I'm fishing. Fishing over there, under that tree, you can see there's a bit of a leaf there drifting in, that's where I'm fishing. And there's all lily pads on that side, and lily pads on that side, but as you can see, bushes and bushes, it's a bit tight, and I haven't got much down here to work with. It's a bit tight, but we're managed. Well, my twig's just risen right up and stopped. Oh, a marine. Um, would you believe it? It's what I said. Bloody crayfish. Sodding things. Oh, I ate them. Look at that. What a monster. got rid of him. Now, a pain in the backside is the crayfish. I'm not going to be plagued with those all day. What I might have to do is, if I do get caught up in some more crayfish, I'll uh, set up a paternoster rig and fish mid-water which is not exactly what I wanted to do today but
splashing you've just heard is the waterfowl chasing after the splash of the ground bait feeder going in. Okay, we we'll try again. I think I might be suffering from another dose of crayfish. It's getting very sudden, up, 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 like this, and then it drops back. And it lifts slightly. Could well be another crayfish. And in the last five or ten minutes, it's darkened up and the wind's picked up a bit. I think we might be in for a touch of rain. Oh, bloody waterfowl. Went straight across the line there. Hopefully that'll scare him right off. Well, the swans are back. He's necking right down around where my feeder is. If you can see and go by or not, yeah, there you go. Beautiful things, but they are a pain. Oh, hello, this one's back. Maybe you can see that, it's coming right into the feet. It's not the time for having a bite. I've got nothing for you, mate. He's just eating some of the vegetation. What? No, I've got nothing for you. Something's feeding now. Not bad, rising up. Go on. Yes, we're in. Small perch, I think. It's fighting well. Now it's a skimmer. That explains all Just a very small skimmer that wants to run away. There you go. Uh, that explains the uh, delicate bites. And there's a small sh uh, shoal of skimmers in there taking all the bait. So I'm going to clean all the slime up and have another go. Here we go. Only a small one. Oh. 
fighting there. Looks like another skimmer. Same size as the last one. I've just swapped back over on the worm and maggot. Only a little one. <laughs> Covered in slime again. I'm just getting a start, getting a knock. Yes, we're in. Only a small one. Build up a little perch. It is a little perch, but that's a good sign. Hopefully they bump the skimmers out. A little tiny perch. It's taken half a lob one. It's a little one. Very, very small, but it means they're about. Well, I've just had a change around, guys. I've put my umbrella away, made up a little bit more ground bait with uh, essence of worm, etc., chopped dendrobina, some red maggot, and a plain brown crumb. And uh, I've now got half a lobworm on a size 14. It's probably half past five time, quarter to six. We're getting into magic hour shortly. And hopefully we might have some better perch. Yes, we're in. Doesn't feel that big. No. But it is a very small rod that has taken three quarters of a lobworm. I don't believe that. In actual fact, it's a roach. This little tiny, tiny thing took a great big chunk of lobworm. But at least they're biting now, that sun's dipped away. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave the video to run. There's only 38% battery left. Hopefully that might last a little bit. Well, the battery warning light has just flashed up, so I'm just going to let it run now until it runs out. Oh, there's a knot. Are we going to get to see this before the battery dies? 